A Star is Born is without a doubt one of Judy Garland's most known films, second of course to The Wizard of Oz. But personally, it's not one of my favourites of hers. That's not to say I didn't like it. I just don't have it on such a high pedestal as a lot of people do. And I can't really put my finger on why. This was released in 1954, directed by George Cooker and written by Moss Hart, starring, of course, Judy Garland and James Mason. And the narrative certainly sounds very interesting. The description from IMDb is as follows. A film star helps a young singer and actress find fame, even as age and alcoholism send his own career on a downward spiral. So that's pretty interesting. So we have this character, Norman, played by James Mason. And, you know, as an actor, his his career is not necessarily going in the direction he wants to. And then we have Esther, also known as Vicky Lester, played by Judy Garland, whose career starts to take off. And it's really exciting to see her career kind of grow and flourish and see her grow in confidence. And it, you know, lends itself to some really lovely vocals from Garland. This is a musical and we get some really lovely performances, and I really like that. Part of me doesn't like seeing Norman's career spiral. It does stagnate, but I don't really like seeing it spiral. Maybe that's the bit why I didn't like it, and maybe I don't like that contrast as much. But certainly having Vicky Lester's career kind of grow is really interesting to watch and see how it happens, and also to see how she as a character develops and changes within the industry. So I think the narrative was reasonably well executed and there's nothing about that that I didn't like. The soundtrack is pretty decent. You know, as I said, the vocals from Garland are very strong. There's nothing about that that I thought was bad or off-putting. But I did think it was, for me, pretty unmemorable. It's not one of my favourite musical soundtracks. Maybe if I saw this on stage, I'd think differently. But watching it, just based on this film and this version of A Star Is Born, it's not something that really went into my heart. It's not something I'm going to hail as one of my favourite musicals. So I think the thing with me is that this film is not a bad film. I don't dislike this film. I mean, for goodness sake, it was nominated for six Oscars. It was nominated for Best Actor in a Leading Role, Best Actress, Best Art Direction, Best Costume Design, Best Music. Um, That was for the original song, The Man That Got Away and Best Music Scoring of a Musical Picture. It also won the Golden Globes for Best Actor and Actress, which is, you know, incredible, and it's obviously done very well. The accolades prove this, and it's got a very good reception from everybody who's watched it. It's got six point, uh, 7.6 out of 10 on IMDb, which is brilliant. So what's my problem? I think for me, maybe I was just expecting too much because everybody hails this film as being brilliant, and certainly there's a lot about it that I enjoyed and there wasn't really anything specific I didn't like. I just, maybe I was expecting to fall head over heels in love with it. And for me, it was just, it was good. It was good, but it wasn't spectacular. I will revisit it because I feel like maybe I just wasn't in the right mood. I don't know. But if I revisit it and change my opinion, I will provide an update. But for now, I've seen it once and that's good enough for me.